The pace of global warming is accelerating and the scale of the impact is devastating. The time for action is limited. We are approaching a tipping point beyond which opportunity to reverse the carbon dioxide emissions will disappear. Quote by Elliot Spitzer. Greetings to all. I'm Prasha Kumari from grade 9 say. On behalf of my entire class, I'll be interviewing some students, teachers and parents on the grounds of Manipal School on our topic for today that is carbon footprint. Let us interview some students first. Excuse me. Yes. Can you uh, can I interview you for uh, on the topic carbon emission? Yes, yes sir. May you introduce yourself first? I am Arush Bhatt of Nine. What is your opinion on carbon emission? Well, uh, it's uh, something which harms the environment. Um, also, it is one of the reasons uh, for uh, global warming, climate change. Uh, but, uh, however, it can be uh, prevented with a few measures. Okay. And how do you think it can be reduced? Uh, it can be reduced by switching off the lights and saving the electricity and and uh, closing the water taps when it's not in use and checking your vehicles for carbon stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you follow some points? Uh, do you follow some things to reduce carbon emission? Um, yeah, we switch off our lights when it's not used or the taps and. Yeah, we get our vehicles checked regularly so that that doesn't affect the global warming and do I also um, I switch off the tap uh, uh, lights and uh, off uh, turn the taps when they are not in use okay thank you right now we'll be interviewing a teacher excuse me ma'am can we do a small interview with you definitely yeah. Can you give us your introduction? Yeah, I'm Shibani Trikannad and uh, I teach at Manipal School. I'm teaching social science as well as English here. Okay. Uh, our topic for today is carbon emission. So according to you, what do you think, it, how it affects our environment? Uh, well, carbon emission is a, a major factor to affect our uh, environment. Uh, pollution, the, the cause of pollution basically is your carbon emission. Okay. And how do you think can we reduce that? Yes, uh, we can reduce it uh, by, uh, you know, uh, switching off. Like the basic thing is like you switch off your lights and fans when you uh, leave that room as well as, uh, you know, using uh, rechargeable uh, batteries as well as, uh, you know, carpooling. Like if you're just traveling alone, don't use your own car carpool and uh, go. And there are many other ways, of course. Many, many ways if you Google you will get it. And how do you think uh, the school is helping to uh, reduce carbon emission? The school also has done uh, many things to reduce the carbon emission. Like recently we had this collection of e-waste that was done throughout the grades. Like the students had brought all their, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? Like the, uh, their uh, laptops, their laptops all the gadgets, electronic appliances. gadgets and all was brought to brought to school uh, so that was what was done and of course from a very lower uh, from the lowest grade we start uh, you know uh, forcing it on children as to uh, to switch off your light and the fan when you move out from the class so that's the basic thing that we do okay thank you ma'am for your precious time thank you thank you Priksha. Here at school, we use high effective and less energy consuming computers. Here at school, we collect and recycle e waste. Today, we have brought Mr. Sandeep, follow me dad, to talk about carbon emissions in their household. Yeah, we uh, ensure that you know electricity is disconnected, uh, you know, lights are switched off, fans are switched off, by which we will conserve energy. By conserving energy, we automatically reduce the uh, pressure on the natural resources where uh, electricity is saved and the same can be utilized for the next generation. How do you encourage your children to reduce carbon emission? Yeah, we ensure that they are um, using less of water when they are taking bath. 
in limited uh, limited way they ensure uh, not uh, wasting water, which is the natural resource, and considering the current situation, so we need to uh, save whatever water for the next generation. The same way we ensure that uh, the household also like uh, natural resources like uh, paper etc is not excessively used and we ensure that we use natural products where they can be recycled. We ensure that we don't use more plastics because plastic takes long time to basically regenerate or getting into the nature. That's how we encourage the children to save, and the main is to save energy so it's for the next generation. Thank you sir for your question. A carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide and methane, that are generated by our actions. It estimates the total emission volume of greenhouse gases, those gases in our atmosphere that trap and release heat, and contribute to climate change. Here, most of the people said that vehicles are the reason for carbon footprints, but some of you might not even know that food is also a contributor. Food is a major contributor to carbon footprints, and meat in particular is an issue. Livestock is responsible for a significant amount of greenhouse gas emission, and beef is one of the biggest contributors. It accounts to 10 to 30 percent of household carbon footprints, typically a higher portion in lower income households. Production accounts for 68 percent of food emissions, while transportation accounts for 5 percent. Food production emissions consist mainly of CO2. N2O and CH4, which result, results primarily from agriculture practices like growing, rearing, farming, processing, transporting, storing, cooking, and disposing of the food you eat. A study shows that emission of greenhouse gases from schools stand at 9.4 metric tons yearly. They spread from heating of school buildings and the students' and staff wastes also from the activities of companies providing goods and services to school and from the buses used by the students for transportation. How to reduce our carbon emission? Eat more plant food and less animal foods. Try other modes of transportation. Switch to low carbon energy provider. Reduce, reuse and recycle to waste less. Rethink your fashion choices and choose energy efficient appliances. We, as students of Manipal School, can run a more eco-friendly school system. An eco-friendly school system can be established if certain things are taken into consideration. This is done by encouraging students and even teachers and staff to walk or cycle to and from school if possible instead of driving. Carbon footprints can be reduced if walking and use of buses can be introduced. Reduce energy waste. We can make use of a motion sensor lighting. You can effectively reduce the electric energy used most especially when light bulbs are left on in the classrooms without making use of them. Recycling more. Recycling is a very important aspect of reducing carbon footprint in schools. We should learn how to separate waste. This would be very helpful as a significant amount of the things students use can actually be recycled. In fact, to make it more fun, Teachers can plan a trip together with the kids to a local recycling center as this would provide them the opportunity of seeing how lots of waste end up in landfills. You can also show them a documentary on how unrecycled materials are harming the environment. Make new connections and networks. Many times when you first start out working towards a big cause, it can seem a little bit scary and lonely at the beginning. So make connections, create networks, find people that can be a part of your great cause of saving the one and only planet. The chain starts with one single step and it spreads forward. Reach out to and connect with other schools and environmental organizations and use the power of unity to influence local authorities to contribute to your fight with the climate change. Create workshops. They can be involved in sustainable workshops where the students participate in environment-friendly projects within the school. They can learn how to read energy meters, monitor and report energy consumption while setting targets towards reducing the rate of energy consumption. These suggestions on how to reduce carbon footprint in schools can also be used in many other places. They can be expanded. If you are eco-friendly and know the real value of saving our planet, then when we become adults, we will be even more conscious. 
I hope you all have an idea about the carbon footprints and ways to reduce it after watching a documentary. Now, I request you all to join us in taking a pledge. I can commit to reducing my carbon footprint. I can, I can commit, commit to reducing my carbon footprint by taking a hard look. By I taking a hard look at the footprint of my food. At the footprint of my food. The electricity I use. The electricity I use. And how I commute from place to place. And how I commute from place to place. I can start making an impact. I can start making an impact by commit by committing to the following. By committing to the following. I will set a goal of reducing. I will, I will set, set a goal, goal of reducing the food waste in my home. home the food waste in my home from its current levels. From, from its current levels. levels. I commit to only buy. I, I commit to only buy what I need. What I need and eat what I buy. And eat what I buy. I will check out solar panels. I will check out solar panels. Or look into community solar projects in my area. Or look into community solar projects in my area. I will look into options. And I will look into options. To switch to renewable energy. To switch to renewable energy. From my utilities company. From my utilities company. I commit to reducing the fossil fuel impact. I commit to reducing the fossil fuel impact. Of my daily commute. Of my daily commute. To work or school. To work or school. By walking. By walking. Riding my bike. Riding my bike. Carpooling. Carpooling. Or using public transportation. Or using public transportation. One or more days per week. One or more days per week. Thank you. And thank you.